Hello, my fantastic art people. We just watched a video on how to put our fractions as division problems onto our artwork and we did it with pencil and now you guys are gonna get the opportunity to paint them. Um, there is an option here if you'd rather use colored pencils, just turn your card red where it says, how can I help you? And I'll come up to you and I'll say, how can I help you? And you'll say, can I please have colored pencils? And I will bring them to you. Other than that, we're gonna go ahead and paint. Um, and before we start painting, I am going to let you guys, uh, I'm going to recommend that you take off your sweatshirts or jackets or anything like that. You guys are fifth graders, so you don't have to. I um, also have aprons that we'll put at every table and you can put an apron on, but you're fifth grader, so you don't have to. This paint does not come off clothes like I've been telling you guys this whole lesson, but you're fifth grader, so I, um, if you guys... Just trust yourself to not get paint on your clothes, then I trust you too, because you're fifth graders. Okay, so go ahead, and if you did want to put an apron on, put that on. If you want to take off your jacket, you can go put it in the waiting room. All right, let's go ahead and get started other than that. So let's start with our first heart, our one with the fraction on it. And go ahead, and there's a blue box at the middle of your table. Think about what color you want that to be. I think, I recommend doing your... Um, color that's on the side here so whatever color this heart is I recommend getting that color out I think that's gonna look really good but if you feel very strongly about having different color for your fraction than the side of your heart that's fine okay go ahead and get the color that you want out of the blue box a little shaky shaky open the tab and pour some into a little rectangle. You don't need much, just about the size of a dime. Close it and put it back. All right, nobody should have started painting yet. Now, if you are out of the color that you need, you can take this order form here and you can take the paper clip from the short side and move it to the long side at the color that you need, like this. And then I will know that you need some more of whatever color it is. If you don't need any more colors, you just put it back on the end where it lives. All right, now let's get a paintbrush. Put some paint on your brush and trace over your letters or your numbers, I mean. Slide, slide to get the extra water off your artwork or off your paintbrush. Here we go. And I'll put on some music for us to finish this heart. All right, if you have already started working on the second heart, you are in the wrong. We are all working on this together. All right, now you can put your brush in your water, like so. And now you can pick out one of your other two hearts. Think about the color you want, get the color that you want. And also your the first color should be in the blue basket. These don't live on the table, these bottles of glue. They're either in our hand or they're in the blue basket because somebody else might want to use it. Open up the paint, pour a little bit in your rectangle about the size of a dime. Put the paint back. We're gonna wash our brush together. Put your brush at the bottom of the cup, swish it around, swish, 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 swish. Slide, slide the extra water off. We're not clinking we're not wipe wipe wiping with a paper towel notice that I don't have a paper towel I don't need one now get your paint and go ahead and begin painting more numbers on your next heart and I'll turn the music on for this
Okay. Put your paintbrush in the water. Look at your next heart. Get the color for it. Shake, shake, shake. Open the top. Put about a dime's worth in the next rectangle. Close it. Put it back. Clean your brush. Swish, swish, swish. Slide, slide. No clinking or wiping. Paint on your brush. And trace. All right, put your brush in the water. Okay, obviously we are not gonna be tracing over our last one with all the little letters with a paintbrush because that's just too tiny. So the next thing we're going to do is you can add details with your paintbrush. So remembering the rules, swish, 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 slide, slide. You only need to get about a dime of paint at a time, okay? Follow the rules or else I'll take the paint away from you and you can go ahead and add some details quietly. And if at any time you need to use paint and there's none left, you just take your card, take the paper clip off of the short side, put it on the long side on the part that you need the color on, and then put it on the green tape that's at your table. And if I see these at the green table, I'll look and see where their paper clip is, and I will replace your paint for you. And if you are done, you turn your card blue. And that's your way of letting me know that you are ready for your early finisher packet that you will work on. And we're not painting on the early finisher packets, of course, because that's just normal copy printy printer paper. And we can't paint on the normal copy or printer paper. It has to be this nice thick paper. So we're not painting on that worksheet or that work packet. You'll turn your card blue. And I'll bring you crayons or something to color with. And your packet.
are do all done, you're going to take your brush, swish, 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 slide, slide, and then you put your brush back in the blue cup with the hair going up and the stick going down. Double check to make sure all your paint is in the blue basket. Put your rainbow card underneath your stack of cards on the green tape. And then you'll leave this at your table. I'll call somebody to put them in the drying rack. Leave this here. I'll call somebody to put all the paint pallets in the sink, so on and so forth. Okay, this is our last day we're working on these. You guys did an awesome job, super excited. We do have an exit slip we need to do to exit out of this lesson so that we can enter into the next lesson, but really proud of you guys. Awesome job, and I hope you enjoyed painting. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye.